In 2010, Nigeria reduced the number of new wild polio virus cases by 95%. Progress has been remarkable, but as long as there is a single new case, the battle is not over. To eradicate polio in Nigeria by the end of 2012, to immunize and protect every child, urgent action is needed from health workers and caregivers and from all political, religious and traditional leaders. New cases of polio are closely monitored and there is a huge effort underway to ensure vaccines are available where needed. But in many places, routine immunization, which protects children from childhood diseases, is absent. So polio immunization campaigns try to reach every child at risk by going house to house, stopping the transmission of the wild polio virus. But there is a major problem. In some areas, almost a third of children are not protected because of parents refusing to vaccinate their children and vaccinators missing large numbers of children, putting everybody at risk. Urgent action is needed to make sure everyone understands and accepts vaccination. To do this, everybody from governors to LGA chairmen, community leaders to caregivers and health workers to volunteers are being mobilized through a range of communication activities. My name is Aminu Ahmed. That this is our workshop. 80% disabled person. We are doing work like anybody. Amino Ahmad was crippled by polio as a child. Today, he is a successful business owner and is working to raise awareness for the vaccination campaign. We, this our person, we are doing something. Because we, polio, if you go into the house to house to advise the people, give your children out to immunize. Amino has come to a meeting at the Emir's Palace in Kano. We come to tell the Emir of Kano and the senior councillor what we are doing next because we we'll get support now. The support of traditional rulers is vital in winning the trust of parents. I have my children and they are the first to be immunized. My children and those of the local government chairman and our religious leaders just to serve as an example. To go around to all villages, hamlets and tell them so that they can be ready and they bring all their people to be immunized during this uh, exercise. In Bunkuri, a high-risk polio area, the district head is meeting with community leaders. With the blessing of the traditional leaders, health workers then carry out community discussions in towns and villages. Many people in high-risk areas who refuse to vaccinate their children argue that their religion prohibits them from doing so. In response, the mobilization includes religious leaders. In Talata Mafara, a gathering of Islamic scholars has come to discuss polio immunization. To matakin da za mu dauka shine aza so ga hanya ta gaskiya tun da shari'a ta musulunci da addinin mu na musulunci ya yarda da ai riga kafi. Kuma muna karanta musu ayoyi na alkur'ani mai girma, muna karanta musu a dasan manzo sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In Gusau, over 200 women have gathered to watch the Majige film on polio. Mungia, Mukuma, Munida, the Iron Water Sukasu, Saint Gia, 
amma yanzu abin da an saura gare mu wanda ya rage mana aiki za mu koma a can gidajen mu ga makotan mu yan uwa da abokan arziki mu ƙara wayantan masu da kai dan mu fada masu illolin da polio ke haihuwa With the campaign day approaching, Okada bikers parade through towns to let everyone know. As vaccination teams prepare to visit every single settlement in their areas. <laughs> to flag off the vaccination campaign in Danlasa, leaders families and health workers all gather to enjoy the show. And Amino has traveled to give his message. We are close to the final goal, but we are not there yet. Nigeria is still facing a polio emergency. We need your commitment and support to make Nigeria polio free. Please join our immunization movement and make sure every last child in Nigeria is immunized against polio and other childhood diseases.